Mi nombre es Maggi Sepúlveda y quiero recordarte que para poder evitar la propagación del COVID-19 tenemos que lavarnos las manos constantemente con agua y jabón. Tenemos que mantener la distancia de seis pies con las demás personas con las que nos rodeamos y siempre que estemos en público debemos andar con nuestro protector facial. Si sientes algunos síntomas, debes hacerte la prueba y si sales positivo, debes permanecer por dos semanas en cuarentena. Ayúdanos a prevenir el COVID-19. Our world has changed, but our calling has not. This is why Food Lion Feeds is working harder than ever to make sure no neighbor goes hungry. Because this is our home, and that's our Food Lion. Damas y caballeros, en vivo desde Cary, Carolina del Norte. Hoy celebramos los logros y contribuciones de la comunidad latina en la vigésima quinta entrega de los Premios Latino Diamante. Únase a nosotros para honrar a los artistas, la comunidad, los líderes y los héroes anónimos de nuestra comunidad. Live from Cary, North Carolina, ladies and gentlemen, today we celebrate the achievements and contributions of the Latino community at the 25th annual Latino Diamante Awards. Join us as we honor the artists, community, leaders, and unsung heroes of our community. Amigos, soy Fred Huerta y quiero dedicar esta canción a todos los ganadores de Premios Diamante, esperando que este mensaje de armonía y de paz les llegue al corazón y que tengan siempre más y más éxito. Fred Huerta les desea lo mejor. Bendiciones a todos en Premios Diamante. Ni hoy, ni mañana. 
mañana ni nunca te dejes vencer. Please welcome your Mistress of Ceremonies, WRAL TV news anchor, the delightful Micaia Thurmond. Hola, hola, mi gente. Soy Micaia Thurmond. Soy una reportera con WRAL, emisora de televisión. Y me siento tan emocionada estar aquí con ustedes hoy. Me presento un poco. Soy oriunda de Atlanta, Georgia, y estudié periodismo y español a la Universidad de Georgia. And I gotta say, I am excited to practice a little bit of my Spanish with you all tonight. Night. Hola, hola. Okay, I'm seeing all the comments come in. Keep commenting, keep writing in the chat. So, vamos. Buenas noches. Good evening. I'm excited to be hosting again. This is North Carolina's 2020 Latino Diamante Awards as they celebrate, get this, the 25th anniversary. That was such a heartwarming and inspirational bachata by Mexican singer, songwriter Fred Huerta in a special collaboration with Lalo Adia, Alvera, Pedro Velasquez, and some other Mexican artists. And we know, now more than ever, Diamante felt it important to hold the awards and bring much needed good news to a community that certainly has been hard hit in the pandemic. We have seen it covering the news. So I'm just happy that you have joined us safe from the comfort of your home in order to help us recognize Latino achievement across our state. The awards will be accompanied by great performances from nine North Carolina Latino singer songs writers, so make sure that you stay tuned. Para acomodar a la mayoría de nuestra audiencia, el programa de esta noche se llevará a cabo en inglés. So please tag us on social media and use the hashtag, get this, write this down, it's LDA2020, or you can just simply write Soy Diamante. At this time, I would like to introduce the Honorable Roy Cooper, of course, the governor of North Carolina, with a message to the Latino community. Good evening, everybody. Governor Roy Cooper here. Welcome to the 25th Annual Latino Diamante Awards. It's my pleasure to join you tonight to celebrate the many accomplishments and rich culture of North Carolina's Latino Hispanic communities. Congratulations to this evening's award winners. You're making a significant impact in our state through the arts, business, education, healthcare, and more. Thanks also to the previous winners who are with us 
for being great leaders for North Carolina. And I want to take a special moment to send special congratulations to my Deputy Director of Outreach, Maddie Laszlo Chatterton, who's being recognized tonight for her decades of work in the Latino community in North Carolina. Maddie's such an inspiration, and I'm so happy to see her receive this well-deserved award. I'm proud to join you in celebrating our diversity as a strength as we strive in North Carolina for a state that works for everyone. Again, on behalf of our state and all of its people, congratulations. are joined by Congressman David Price. David Price, of course, representing North Carolina's 4th Congressional District. Here's that message. Happy to once again join you, albeit virtually, for uh, the Diamante Awards. Uh, and, and this is the 25th year that, uh, that you have done this. It's, uh, it's quite a history. And I've uh, been part of almost every one of these evenings and uh, uh, I'm happy to join you again. This is a great time to uh, honor the achievements of individual members of the Latino community, people who have contributed in, in uh, diverse ways. Uh, that's always impressive and it's impressive again tonight, but it's also a way of honoring this community and the growth of this community. I've been in office long enough to see um, the Latino community in this state to grow greatly in diversity, in influence, in impact, and to see just how substantial the contribution that you have made to this state, culturally, economically, how, how great that contribution is. So we celebrate that tonight. And uh, I'm honored to be included once again as, as a part of uh, this observance. I think it's also important to note that nationally, we're uh, at, at a turning point. We uh, have had a period in, in our history as a country where there's been way too much uh, divisive, hateful rhetoric, way too much stigmatizing of immigrants and people who come from different parts of the world. When we should be celebrating it, we're stigmatizing it. And that, uh, that's not the American way. And we need, to, uh, we need to turn the corner on that. And thank you for always inviting me and look forward to being your partner as we uh, build a better North Carolina and a builder, a better America in the months and years ahead. Thank you and I hope you have a great evening. What a powerful message. Right now we have some words from the Consul General de Guatemala in Raleigh, of course, Jorge Arquia. Hello. It is a pleasure for me to take this opportunity to congratulate Diamante Inc. for the 25th annual Latino Diamante Awards. These awards highlight the tremendous contributions of the Latino community in the state and encourage other Latino leaders to keep working hard to achieve their goals. Congratulations to the winners this year for your well-deserved recognition of your hard work. You inspire us all. Felicitaciones a todos y sigan adelante. Thank you, Consul General Jorge Arquia. Following, we have a welcome from Vice Consul General of Mexico in Raleigh, Patricia Perez Galeana, and here's her message. The Consulate General of Mexico in Raleigh congratulates Diamante Arts and Culture on its 25th annual celebration, as well as the 13 community leaders and organizations that will receive an award tonight. The diversity and talent characteristic of the Latino community represented today reasserts the power we all have to make a difference. Morrisville, Wilmington, Chapel Hill, Oakboro, Cary, and Raleigh are lucky to have valuable individuals and organizations that work towards building bridges of understanding, tolerance, and unity through art and culture, education, health, science, community involvement, the creation of businesses, and advocating for the Latino community in North Carolina. To all of you, our deepest appreciation and acknowledgement. Congratulations to every awardee and to the organizers, volunteers, and staff that make this event possible. We are sure it will be a very successful one. Congratulations, felicidades. 
Thank you, Vice Consul Galeana. And here's something cool. You may not know this, but every year, Diamante commissions an artist for the awards. And this year is more about our commissioned artists for this year. Diamante commissioned a piece of art from Latina artist Nachata Sochot. Diamante gifted a thank you to sponsors. That includes a lovely piece of art. Hopefully you'll get a chance to see it shortly. You can view the art piece and the artist's bio in the LDA magazine on the latinodiamanteawards.org website. And if you make a donation to Diamante today, you will receive a gift featuring her artwork. The arts have been greatly impacted by this pandemic, like so many other businesses, and your support to Diamante is needed now more than ever. So here's the website address. Again, take a look at your screen. It is diamanteinc.org or www.latinodiamanteawards.org. All right, our next performance comes from the beautiful voice of Sandra Camilla. This Cuban singer-songwriter lives in Raleigh and will sing a song called Tiempos de Tempestad, or In the Times of Storms. And what's interesting is she says that she was inspired by the pandemic. Diamante commissioned a piece of art from Latina artist Natasha Soto. Diamante gifted a thank you to the sponsors that includes this lovely art piece. You can view the art piece and the artist's bio in the LDA magazine on the latinodiamanteawards.org website. If you make a donation to Diamante today, you will receive a gift featuring her artwork. The arts have been greatly affected by this pandemic, and your support to Diamante is needed now more than ever. All right, let's go ahead now and hear from that performance of Sandra Camilla. Las calles se han quedado tan vacías. El mundo tiene ya otro color Las noches se han convertido en días Se ha puesto a prueba el nombre del amor Las cosas han cambiado día a día Debajo de las piedras saco el valor Y cambio mis penas por alegrías Pues sé que va a volver Send 
Thank you so much, Sandra Camilla. And to welcome you to the Latino Diamante Awards, here is Diamante's founder and board member emeritus, Lizette Cruz Huatco. Buenas noches y bienvenidos. We are delighted that you're joining us tonight to commemorate the 25th anniversary of the Latino Diamante Awards. Of course, they're going to be COVID inspired. We are Diamante Arts and Cultural Center, and we're dedicated to celebrating the art, the beauty, the culture, cuisine, heritage, talents, people, and traditions of North Carolina's Hispanic, Latino, Latinx community. Our work ranges from Ritmo Latino Festival to the Dia de los Reyes Parade to tertulias and um, art exhibits plays, documentaries, and also art development programs like DALI and COMPARTE, and many more. But tonight, we're celebrating the accomplishments of people working to make North Carolina a better place to live, while at the same time, celebrating the diversity and talents within the Latino community. So please, enjoy the show. Gracias, Lizette. And to acquaint you with the Latino Diamante Awards, we are now joined by Eliazar Posada, the chair of the 2020 Latino Diamante Awards Selection Committee. Good evening. Tonight, we recognize the excellence, the work, and the achievement of all of our honorees, as well as everything they do to make North Carolina a better place to live. Any Latino or anyone working with the Latino community across the state of North Carolina can be nominated to receive a Latino Diamante Award. There are no fees for nominations and absolutely no fees to receive an award. Every year, an impartial committee is selected to pick that year's honorees. It was my honor this year to serve as a 2020 Selection Committee Chair, along with Elsa Huerta, Ana y la Raza Blackburn, Emmanuel Mejia Lopez, and Judith Montenegro. Nominations open up again January 2021. Make sure to nominate an unsung hero, and maybe this time next year, we'll be honoring them with a Latino Diamante Award. Oh, perfecto. The time has come now to present the first award. I know everybody's excited. I want to see some hand claps in the chat if you're ready for this first award. The Art and Culture Award recognizes significant contributions to visual, literary, cultural, performing arts, media communications, or to an organization that promotes artists or art programs in the Latino Hispanic community. Arts and Culture, Norberto Beto Herrera. Beto is originally from Ecuador. At a tender age, his mother and siblings immigrated to New Jersey, where he grew up surrounded by music and dance. After his service in the U.S. Marines, he moved to Raleigh and founded Mambo Dinamico. Since then, the company has served more than 50,000 students. Beto approaches Afro-Latin dances as a way to create community and spread cultural awareness. He has been a leader in the community by promoting and educating people about the historical contribution of Latinos in the United States through music and dance. Due to his expertise in Afro-Latin dance and music, he is frequently sought after as a subject for scholarly research by professors and students at local universities, as well as judging international dance conferences. At the award for art and culture, we are now joined by Diamantes Dali Fellows from First Citizens Bank, introducing Gustavo Schmidt. It is my pleasure on behalf of First Citizens Bank to present the 2020 Latino Diamante Award for Arts and Culture to Norberto Beto Herrera. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. Um, 
First, I would like to say that I might be just one person receiving this award, but behind me, there are many people that have supported me throughout my whole career, which is almost 20 years. I would like to thank my parents and my family in Ecuador and in Peru. I would like to thank also the Latin dance community in North Carolina and abroad, especially my wife and my children who have supported me throughout all this time for so long. Um, thank you guys so much thank you diamante you guys doing you guys are doing a great job and this is an honor for me thank you so much and the next singer songwriter is salo this up and coming american singer songwriter shared his new bachata si yo supiera or if i had known this is dance by machel and mayra feel free to get up and join them it's a shame you betrayed me i gave you my all with love
Welcome back. The following award recognizes excellence in business and or corporate communities. The honoree may be retired, self-employed, or otherwise working in the business field. Business. Latin American Business Council in Wilmington. In collaboration with the Wilmington Chamber of Commerce, Gustavo Rodea and Isabella Lujan are leading the new Latin American Business Council, LABC, in Wilmington. The council is focused on promoting accessibility to opportunities and available resources for established Latino businesses and the improvement of empowerment of future generations of Latino business owners and professionals in the Cape Fear region. They advocate for equal access to all resources for growth and economic success with a multilingual platform for the community. The council leads an international coalition to bring exposure to the proud and growing Latino community with all its strength and cultural diversity. We are now joined by Carlos Liriano, a branch manager at Truist. Good evening. On behalf of Truist Bank, I'm happy to present the 2020 Business Award to the Latin American Business Council of Wilmington. My name is Isabella Lujan. And Gustavo Rodea. And we are the co-chairs of the Latin American Business Council with the Chamber of Commerce in Wilmington, North Carolina. The Latino Diamante Awards is the most important recognition that is given to any member of the Latino community here in North Carolina. We wanted to thank you in the name of the Latin American Business Council, the members, and the board of directors. We wanted to thank you for this award under the business category. Thank you. And now Cafe Amaretto is a performing group based in Charlotte, comprised of a Colombian-American singer, Ana Lucia Divins, and Ecuadorian guitarist, Carlos Crespo. They play smooth Latin American tunes along with some American classics, incorporating a unique mixture of jazz, blues, and sun. They will perform an original composition called Este Amor Azul.
Oh, that was so beautiful. Well, the following award now for community involvement. It recognizes the contributions made in the Hispanic community through devotion of both time and energy with the goal of improving the quality of life for Latinos and Hispanics in North Carolina. Community involvement, Jenny Bustamante Farrell. Jenny Bustamante Farrell is originally from Venezuela and has lived in North Carolina for six years. She is the director of the Mil Mujeres nonprofit organization. She is an accredited representative of the Department of Justice and can advocate for immigrants who are victims of crimes, especially women survivors of domestic violence. When a person comes to her requesting legal help, she does not see a client. She sees a father, a daughter, a single mother, a human being who needs a light on their way to a better life in this country. Motivating and inspiring Hispanic women are her purpose and passion. Jenny's love for writing led to her authoring the Empoder Alte column in La Conexión newspaper and to write the inspiring phrase book, One Phrase a Day for Mary. And joining us now to present the Community Involvement Award is Connections with Carlos Lopez from Duke Energy. Duke Energy understands the importance of giving back to the community. By giving back to the community, they'll be able to thrive now and well into the future. It is therefore that tonight I am proud to represent Duke Energy and with great honor present Jenny Bustamante Ferrell with the Latino Diamante Community Involvement Award. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure to have this beautiful award in my hand. So I just want to thank the organization Diamante Art Cultural Center for, for making this possibility and all the collaborators. Also, I would like to thank to my parents who found my root of my life in our country, Venezuela. To my daughter for being so special and a good daughter. To my husband, thanks for your love and support every day of our life. To my friends, sister and woman support group. And especially, I would like to say that I feel very fortunate to live here in North Carolina. Cuando me dijeron que querían nominarme para recibir un premio, Especialmente en esta categoría, debo confesar que pensé, un premio por hacer lo que me gusta. Y fue cuando vino en mi mente en mi infancia. Yo siendo hija de un médico pediatra y una enfermera, el teléfono sonaba 24 horas, 7 días a la semana. Y mi padre siempre decía que detrás de esas llamadas había un padre o una madre esperando un paciente y, ser, y deseando ser atendido con amabilidad. Y fue como entendí que podía usar mi conocimiento combinado con amabilidad para ofrecer ayuda y hacer la diferencia. Justo ahorita estoy cumpliendo seis años de haber llegado a este hermoso país y a esta hermosa ciudad, North Carolina, es donde nos está, hemos estado, y he sido de los cuales cinco de ellos he estado trabajando con la comunidad hispana. Y debo decir que este reconocimiento quiero dedicarlo a mi querida comunidad hispana. I want to dedicate this recognition to the Hispanic community. Especialmente porque trabajo con ellos día a día y puedo ver y puedo darme cuenta que en cada uno de ellos hay un diamante. Hay un verdadero diamante porque pueden pasar muchas condiciones adversas y difíciles y ser golpeados por las circunstancias, pero aún así logran transformarlas en algo positivo para luego irradiarlo a sus demás, a sus seres queridos. Este diamante es para todas esas mujeres que han sido sobrevivientes de violencia doméstica y de un crimen y que han podido hacerlo solas en un país lejano. Este diamante es para todos esos padres que salen bien temprano a trabajar para llevarle el sustento a su familia y mandar dinero a su país de origen. Y este diamante es para todas las marías que leen día a día mis frases y las columnas porque saben que en estos tiempos de incertidumbre todos necesitamos un poquito de motivación extra. Es por eso que quiero darles muchas gracias por permitirme servirles y mientras pueda lo voy a seguir haciendo. Y quiero terminar con una frase que dice, vive de tal manera como si lo que tú hicieras marcara la diferencia, porque es así. 
Y ahora vamos todos a sacar eso, esa parte que tenemos dentro de nosotros y dejarla brillar como un diamante. Muchas gracias. Our next performer comes from Raleigh. He is a multi-talented Venezuelan musician, singer, and songwriter. Everyone, please help me welcome Larry Bellorin. Hola, soy Larry Bellorin, y quiero agradecerle a Diamante por invitarme a compartir con usted en este 25 aniversario de los premios Latinos Diamante. Esta canción, titulada Confidentes y Amigos, de mi autoría, se la dedicamos a los que están siendo reconocidos esta noche. Hoy tomo el cuatro entre mis manos para cantarle a mi triste corazón Él y mi arpa han sido mis confidentes Los que siempre me comprenden en momentos de dolor Mi cuatro siempre ha sido un gran amigo Y suena sin ninguna condición Sus cuatro cuerdas las afino con cariño Y suena tan lindo en esta canción Instrumento amigo de los hombres Parte de nuestro bello por el color Eres andariego peregrino Romancero y bien picaro También te he visto en las noches Serenateando casi cuando sale el sol Esperando la sonrisa de ese caprichoso amor También te he visto en las noches Serenateando casi cuando sale el sol Esperando la sonrisa de ese caprichoso amor Para pa vieja y gran amiga Que suenan tus tiples junto al bordón Dame la musa para seguirte escribiendo Esto que siento por dentro que creo que llaman amor Tus notas son como cantos del cielo Los cuales nos inspira nuestro Dios Él con su magia los bendigo con cariño confidentes y amigos que armarían un parrazo para pa compañera de camino instrumento de nuestro folclor sabes el amor que te he tenido y en mi sueño eres lo mejor y con treinta cuerdas mágicas cordón y prima que completan 32 Rosario de clavijas, un cajón y un gran bastón Y con treinta cuerdas mágicas, cordón y prima que completan treinta y dos Un rosario de clavijas, un cajón y un gran bastón dance through that performance that was so good okay moving right along the next award recognizes outstanding contributions in the field of education through teaching administration research or participation in professional education associations education isla chapel hill 
Isla was founded to build community and leadership through educational Spanish language and cultural immersion programs for students from pre-K through high school. Isla envisions an equitable society strengthened by the power, knowledge, and the value of Latin American languages and cultures. The school exists to give primarily low-income Spanish-speaking students the opportunity to gain literacy skills in their heritage language, lessen the opportunity gap between Hispanic Latino and non-Hispanic Latino students, support students as they learn about their Latin American cultural heritage, and navigate their own unique multicultural experiences. It also provides Spanish-speaking parents access to resources to raise happy, healthy, bilingual families and bridge the gap between Hispanic Latino and non-Hispanic Latino communities through a shared interest in the Spanish language. Now to present the Education Award is the Amante Board member, Rosalina Palacios. It is my pleasure to be with all of you tonight. On behalf of the Board of Diamante, it is with great honor that I present the Latino Diamante Award in Education to Isla. Hi, thank you so much for this award. This means so much to Isla. This means so much to our students and this means so much to our families. This is our first award and I think it's honestly one of the most important awards because it comes from the Latino community. Our vision is that we visualize an equitable society strengthened by the power, the knowledge, and the, the strengths and values of our Latin American cultures and language. And this award means that to us. Thank you so much for this award, Latino Diamante Awards. I am so, so excited. And most importantly, I want to thank our families and our students for believing in us and believing in the education that we give at Isla. Thank you. Cristina España is a Guatemalan artist and diplomat currently the Vice Consul of Guatemala and Raleigh. She composed, along with her husband, musician Nathaniel Sperger, the song, Yo Soy Guatemala. It speaks about how your culture will always travel within you. Good evening, Diamante. Thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to be here with you. You have been lifting our spirits through arts for 25 years. Happy anniversary. It is my honor to be here with my husband to sing a song that I think that it relates to any of you. We have come from various countries, but we have brought our culture with us. And that's what makes North Carolina great. And that's the work you've been doing, Diamante, for 25 years. Thank you so much. Guatemala, Guatemala es mi tierra, ya vine a 
sus remedios quiero agotas, mis frijoles, mis tortillas, el sazón de mi jardín, ya que libre la memoria, orgulloso soy chapín, ya que libre la memoria, orgulloso soy chapín. Guatemala es mi tierra, Chapín es a un coro, Guatemala está aquí, Chapín es a un coro, Guatemala está aquí. Hola a todos, mi nombre es Pierina Prato y quería recordarles que para disminuir el COVID-19 tenemos que lavarnos las manos frecuentemente, mantener el distanciamiento social de 6 pies y usar mascarilla. Y recuerden, si tienen síntomas, pueden ir a hacerse una prueba y si sale positivo, mantenerse en cuarentena por dos semanas. Cuídense, hasta luego. In 2020, the Health and Science Award is a collaborative award. Honorees were selected by the Board of Diamante. The special award recognizes qualifying participation of the health and science community. It's about providing services, support, and assistance in fighting the coronavirus within Hispanic and Latinx populations. To present this award, please welcome Diamante board member Rosa Atunez Bullwright. On behalf of the board, I'm delighted to present the special collective Latino Diamante Award to five deserving groups. Duke Health Latin 19, UNC Health, Novant Health, Forsyth County Hispanic Task Force, and UNC Wilmington Latino Alliance. Congratulations. Health and Science. Duke Health, Latin 19, Forsyth County, Hispanic Task Force, Novant Health, UNC Health, UNC Wilmington, Latino Alliance. Duke Health, Latin 19, the Latinx Advocacy Team and Interdisciplinary Network for COVID-19, Latin 19, is a voluntary, multi-stakeholder collaboration. Latin 19 was founded by Drs. Viviana Martinez Bianchi and Gabriela Maridiaga Panayotti of Duke Health to address health and wellness for the Latino community. The network's mission is to improve the health and wellness of diverse Latino communities during the pandemic and beyond, providing sustainable solutions through collective leadership, the creation of trusting collaborative partnerships and alliances, the engagement of historically marginalized communities, the creation of a platform that honors all voices, and the facilitation of safe spaces for expanded conversations about the mechanisms that disconnect and exclude the Hispanic Latinx communities from the health system. Latin 19 recognizes and amplifies the strength of the Latino community. En representación de Latin 19, muchísimas gracias Diamante por este premio tan importante en Ciencia y Salud. On behalf of Latin 19, we are so grateful to Diamante for this recognition of our work in health and science. Hispanic Task Force of Forsyth County. The Hispanic Task Force is a multi-organizational grassroots committee comprised of several organizations located in the Winston-Salem, Forsyth County area. As COVID-19 cases began to increase in the Forsyth County Latino community, Dr. Reina Rodriguez was assigned the task of becoming the Hispanic liaison for the Forsyth County Department of Public Health to help the Latino community. 
This gave way to the beginning of the Hispanic Task Force. The task force began working collaboratively to improve the health of the Latino community by organizing health fairs, providing PPE, education about the three W's, and providing food and other resources for families. Since its inception, the Hispanic Task Force has educated over 4,000 families in the region on issues related to the virus, and the collaboration will continue beyond this pandemic. Thank you, Diamante, for the award. It is an honor to be nominated as the Hispanic Task Force in Forsyth County. Navant Health's outreach during the pandemic has resulted in a variety of efforts aimed to support its Latino neighbors. Over 100,000 Latino patients accessed their stationary and mobile screening centers where translation services were also provided. Over 21,000 Latino patients were tested, 6,000 masks distributed, and referrals to social services. Navant Health quickly pivoted with innovative tactics and access to a coronavirus assessment tool, masking tips and critical notices through the organization's website in Spanish. We are proud and honored to receive this recognition. On behalf of Navant Health, we want to say thank you. UNC Healthcare proudly collaborated with Latinx leaders throughout the pandemic to improve communication and better serve the Latinx community. Their mobile COVID testing unit was open to anyone, regardless of an ability to pay, with no ID required at test sites in Lee, Northern Orange, Johnston, and Wake County, providing interpreter services, free masks, and educational materials in Spanish to help improve the health of the community during the pandemic. UNC Family Medicine is involved with the Latinx community in many ways. For example, the North Carolina Farm Worker Health Program and the Chatham Food Hub. Thank you so much on behalf of UNC Health for the Diamante Award. We greatly appreciate it. We look forward to working with you all in the near future to build and keep great relationships with the Latinx community. Thank you and have a great day. UNC Wilmington Latino Alliance. The Latino Alliance works with community partners to ensure that Latinx residents are educated on COVID-19 prevention and treatment, have access to free COVID testing, and know where to find resources should they be needed. The Latino Alliance has helped distribute over 6,000 masks to Latinx families, held three drive-through resource events, and facilitated testing to Latinx residents in New Hanover County. Additionally, they are conducting a series of Facebook Live sessions in Spanish on COVID prevention, testing, and treatment. On behalf of the Latino Alliance of the University of North Carolina Wilmington and our partners from Todos Unidos at New Hanover Regional Medical Center, we would like to thank you for the honor of this Diamante Award. Fantastic. Their work is so important. Okay, everyone, here is another dance break. So get on your feet to salsa. This is coming from Jimmy Roman from Puerto Rico via Fayetteville. Here is Jimmy's original composition. It's called Salsa con Sazon. Baila salsa con sazon pa seguir mi tradición, pa seguir mi tradición. Because you want to salsa baila, salsa con sazón, pa' seguir mi tradición, pa' seguir mi tradición. I'm having fun at the club. I see you smiling and looking. They dancing, spinning and stepping to the salsa.
So much fun. Well, the next award recognizes significant contributions made by a civic leader or by a community organization with the goal of improving the quality of life for Latinos or Hispanics in North Carolina. Latino advocate, Dr. Hannah Gill. Dr. Hannah Gill is an anthropologist with a specialization in Latin American Caribbean migration studies. She is the associate director of the Institute for the Study of the Americas at UNC Chapel Hill, where she oversees the Latino Migration Project, LMP an education and research program dedicated to improving public understanding about the impact and implications of the expanding Latin American presence in North Carolina. The project initiatives include the Nueva Raíces Oral Histories, a digital archive that contains the oral histories of Latin American migrants in North Carolina, and the experiences of North Carolinians that have worked for the integration of new settlers in this southern state and includes Building Integrated Communities, a community planning and leadership initiative that partners with local governments to create inclusive practices and policies for immigrant residents, primarily Hispanic and Latino, Latina, Latinx throughout the state. Mr. Carlos Sanchez, 
Vice President of Government and External Affairs for AT&T. He will be presenting the Latino Advocate Award. Muy buenas noches a todos. Good evening. And my congratulations to Diamante for keeping its programs alive during this unique and challenging year 2020. AT&T is proud to sponsor this event and to support the so many Hispanic Latinx initiatives across the state of North Carolina. On behalf of AT&T, I'm very proud to present this Latino Diamante Latino Advocate Award to Hannah Gill. Muchas gracias y saludos a todos. Es un honor estar aquí esta noche con ustedes y felicidades uh, a Diamante y a todos. Good evening, everybody. Um, I'm thrilled to be here tonight. It is such an honor uh, to be here with you and thank you so much to Diamante and to all of the uh, awardees tonight. Um, I want to share this um, award with my colleagues at the Institute for the Study of the Americas. Um, and thank them for their support. And they are my team. And none of this, none of our work would happen without our team. Um, Beatriz Rifo Muniz, Lou Perez, uh, Corinne Zaragoza Estrera, Joanna Schuett, uh, Brianna Gilmore, and Daniela Ceron. Thank you so much. Um, I also want to thank uh, my family, uh, my family um, for their unwavering support here in the United States and in Ecuador. Um, I love you all. I want to thank my uh, partner, Jeremy, for his unwavering support and love. And, um, and to my, my dear boys, my children, Luz and Sam, who are a constant source of inspiration. Um, I'm so honored. Thank you so much for this uh, wonderful recognition. Thank you so much, Diamante. Good evening, everyone. And now for the next performer, we present a father-son trio that showcases the Afro-Peruvian culture and its folklore. Please welcome Revolución Caliente. Hola amigos, ¿cómo están? Mi nombre es Marcos Napa y soy el director de la agrupación Revolución Caliente. En este día quiero aprovechar para darle las gracias a Diamante por esta linda invitación y aprovechar y felicitarlos por su 25 aniversario de los Premios Latino. Este número musical le vamos a ofrecer con mucho cariño a todos los participantes y ganadores del de Premio Latino de este año. Un abrazo para todos y el mejor de los éxitos. Con ustedes, Revolución Caliente del Perú.
I'm so impressed by the talent that we have around our state. And I just want to remind all of you, if you make a donation to Diamante tonight, that donation between now and Giving Tuesday will receive a gift as well. You can visit the Diamante website in order to make that donation. All right, moving right along, the following two awards are presented to graduating high school seniors or college first semester students. We're talking about freshmen recognizing youth contributions to the community, leadership qualities, and the achievements of Hispanic Latino youth in North Carolina. Jaime Leon Youth Award, Daisy Mercado Lopez, Luis Campos Arevalo, Daisy is of Mexican descent. She simultaneously graduated from high school and community college with an associate of science. As a high school student, Daisy spent a lot of time organizing fundraisers for organizations like Lilypad Haven and the St. Jude Affiliate Clinic. She also served on the board of the Multicultural Club. She was a member of the National Honor Society and Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Currently, she is a member of the Corazon Folklorico Mexican Dance Group and volunteers for a local food pantry. Daisy is an undergraduate student at UNC Greensboro, where she is currently pursuing a major in special and elementary education. Jaime Leon Youth Award, Luis Campos Arevalo. Luis is of Salvadoran descent and is a graduate of Triangle Math and Science Academy in Cary, North Carolina. He is eager to share his Salvadorian traditions with classmates because these traditions create a more inclusive and enjoyable environment for all. Luis has been a community volunteer for the YMCA Counselor and Leadership Training Program, a mentor to third to fifth grade students, and the captain for the Tigers High School varsity soccer team. Soccer has afforded him opportunities to build friendships, leadership skills, and determination. He also volunteered at Boyette Wildlife Center doing animal rehabilitation. Luis is currently a freshman at UNC Greensboro, pursuing a bachelor's in marketing. What incredible students to present the Jaime Leon Youth Awards, please welcome Bruna Maracini, Director of Operations of the Sanford Chapel Hill Food Lion. On behalf of the Food Lion family, it is my distinct honor to be presenting the Latino Diamante Jaime Leon Youth Awards with a thousand dollars awards for college expenses. Congratulations. Okay. <laughs> well, honor to students to receive prestigious awards college students. And my biggest goal is that I have received put to good use, and I am excited to begin my teaching career here in North Carolina along with other fellow Hispanics. Thank you. Thank you again. Um, firstly, I really want to say is, um, is that thank you to uh, my family for really helping me be the person I am today, and I want to really express to people that I feel that are very important into receiving this award. Uh, I want to first give it to my mom really being there, uh, really supporting me all day and night for the good and bad, and also a person who uh, gave me a good future into pursuing into college, and that would be Miss Susan. And if you guys are both watching, thank you again for uh, giving me this award because I'm very proud for Latino uh, and I'm very excited, and I hope that my future leads on to more and more. Thank you again.
Felicitaciones to Luis and Daisy. What's so interesting, Daisy had a little bit of a frozen picture, but she looked great regardless. And just the technology of it all. Congratulations to both of those students. From Greensboro, we are now joined by Afro-Brazilian singer. We're talking about the multi-instrumentalist songwriter and music educator, Kaique Vidal. He brings us the latest Pago Trap single. We're talking about Nova Onda. This song talks about missing summers, traveling, the beach, and love. Boa noite. Me chamo Kaique Vidal e é um prazer muito grande fazer parte desse evento hoje. Muito obrigado, Diamante, por me convidar para o 25º aniversário do Prêmio Latino Diamante. A próxima canção que eu vou tocar para vocês é dedicada a todos os participantes, vencedores e organizadores desse festival maravilhoso. Até mais! Uh! Eu quero um novo pôr do sol, eu quero viajar depois da adrenalina, poder relaxar Esse momento é nosso, eu quero te amar Ir pra uma praia distante, tocar violão Os meus acordes quentes aquecem o coração Subiu temperatura, é só de verão Fantastic. Before we present our next award, we are joined by Diamante Chair Roberto Perez and Vice Chair Gonzalo Aguirre for some remarks. We hope you're enjoying the show. Remember, nominations will be open on January the 1st. Please nominate a North Carolina change maker and mover and shaker. From the entire board, we are grateful to Full Lion. United Arts Council, AT&T, First Citizen Bank, Wells Fargo's Bank, 
Truest, Duke Energy, La Grande, La Conexión Newspaper, La Que Buena, Velasque Media, and others for their support. To our volunteers, we are grateful for all the work that they have done to make the Latino Diamante Award the best possible in this unusual year. Thank you so much for your donation tonight to the future of the Amante Art and Culture Center. The money raised will be used to open the doors of our new space once the pandemic is behind us. And we also want uh, to thank a uh, North Carolina Latina artist, Natasha Sochat, for creating this art piece titled We Are the Roots or Nosotros Somos Las Raíces. You can appreciate this art on the cover of uh, the LDA magazine. And uh, thank you so much, Natasha. All those uh, who has made a donation tonight will receive a gift with Natasha's art. We have much in store for next year, but we want to invite you to our upcoming events uh, that they are going to realize virtually as well. Um, the first one is Sabor y Cultura Virtual uh, Guatemala. It's going to take place on December 19th. Uh, then we start with Estrella de la Esperanza, which uh, with Arbolito, that will take place on December 5th. Then on January 2nd, we will uh, be distributing to Latino families food and toys for the holidays. And uh, on January 6th, we have El Día de los Reyes. And finally, on January 12th, we have uh, the workshop Immigration One-on-One -on -one for Latino artists. Now, from Gonzalo, Rosa Antuna Boatwright, Veronica Gutierrez, Carlos Liriano, Carlos Lopez, Tati Padilla, Rosalina Palacios, Mary Taylor, Lisette Cruz Watko, and myself, thank you for watching along with us tonight. It's now the moment that we have been waiting for the final award of the night. This award recognizes contributions made by an individual for more than a decade of consecutive years of service. We're talking about a devotion of time, energy, and it's all with the goal of improving the quality of life for Latinos and Hispanics in North Carolina. Lizette Cruz Watco Award. Maddie Lazo Chatterton. Maddie Lazo Chatterton was born in Lima, Peru, where she became an educator. She worked in Venezuela and owned a gallery in the Dominican Republic before moving to North Carolina in 1987 in search for better autism services for her son. Over the past 15 years, Maddie Lazo Chatterton has been involved in governmental and civic areas of North Carolina, first as Director for Hispanic and Latino Affairs for the President Pro Tempore, North Carolina Senator Mark Basnight. She also held the position of Institutional Public Affairs Office for the Consulate General of Mexico in Raleigh, and later served as Director for Hispanic and Latino Affairs for North Carolina Governor Easley. Maddie is the current Deputy Director of Public Engagement for North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper. Her passion for volunteerism and civic engagement began when her two children were in preschool, becoming an advocate for regular and special education. She is a fellow of the Early Childhood Leadership Development Program, UNC Chapel Hill, Institute for Educational Leadership, and of Triangle Leadership. She is the first person to have received two Latino Diamante Awards in 2000 and today. And now to present the Lizette Cruz Huaco Diamante Award, joining us again is Diamante founder, Lizette Cruz Huaco. I am delighted to be presenting the Lizette Cruz Huaco Award to somebody that I consider a friend, a friend of Diamante and a friend of the Latino community. Thank you, Mati Lasso Charlton, for everything you do. Thank you. 
Uh, good evening. Good evening. Buenas noches. First, I would like to thank uh, the Diamante Arts and Cultural Center for uh, Board of Directors, staff and volunteers. And uh, what a beautiful surprise tonight that my boss, Governor Roy Cooper, um, you know, make some beautiful comments about me. And when he made that, those beautiful comments, the, he was making those comments to our great Latinx Latino community in North Carolina. And congratulations to all of uh, tonight's awardees. I am humbled, but this honor and accept this award on behalf of every Latina, Latinx, and Latino in North Carolina. This recognition is so special to me because it is named after my dear friend and sister, Lisette Cruz Huasco, who was work in the trenches for years. Mm -hmm. Thanks to God, to my children, David, Andrew, and Daphne, and my siblings, Manolo, Juan, Mariela, and Luz Maria, and our family for the support and love that helped me every minute of my life. It does not ma matter the distance. I want to thank all the people who have been and are my mentors of all ages, including my three children, David, Andrew, and Daphne. My dad, a Peruvian Air Force captain, Leonidas Lasso, used to tell me when we went back from Chicago to Peru when I was three and a half years old, millennials ago, um, that uh, the USA, Mati, is the land where your dreams come true. And I think today he and my mom, uh, Matilde Lasso, it, they will be very proud of what's happening today, not only to me, but all the, with the, uh, our this. As an immigrant from Peru, I hold his wor words very close to my heart. Last week, my grandson Miles told his parents and baby sister Olivia, my name is Miles Chatterton. And I was thinking in that moment that in the near future, Miles will be saying, my name is Miles Chatterton. And I'm very proud of being Latino, Filipino, American. Thanks to the work of the strong Latinos, Latinas and Latinx leaders across our beloved state, Miles' generation will be inspired to keep working for an ideal place where diversity will be respect and stronger than ever. It is crucial that we all keep building the pipeline of Latino leadership in our state, different generations, holding hands, ideas, and different backgrounds. During this time of COVID-19, we're only physically distant. We are more together than ever as we continue taking care of ourselves and others, wearing masks, keeping social distance, and washing our hands. As Cesar Chavez and Dolores Huerta would say, si se puede, let's keep working together with all communities. The success of one of us impacts all of us. Remember what the great North Carolina State Seal says, e plurisbut unum, from many, one. Thank you, Diamante. Thank you, Lisette. Gracias. Muchas gracias. great night that it has been. Please don't forget that right now you can make a donation and gift. Just visit Diamante's website. And for all of the dancers that are watching us right now, at the end of the credits, we're going to show some of tonight's performances so you can have your own dance party right there in your living room. I had a great time tonight and I just want to thank you so much for joining us for the 25th annual Latino Diamante Awards from everyone at Diamante. 
Monte, its volunteers, and the crew. I am Micaiah Thurman. Muy buenas noches. Buenas noches. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. It's still the thing that is just too little love. Our world has changed, but our calling has not. This is why Food Lion Feeds is working harder than ever to make sure no neighbor goes hungry. Because this is our home, and that's our Food Lion. Hola, soy Alex Lewis. Para disminuir el COVID-19, recuerda usar la máscara, mantener tu distancia social, los seis pies, y lavarte las manos con agua y jabón frecuentemente. Si contraes el, el, el virus, pues tienes que estar en cuarentena por dos semanas. Pon de tu parte. Gracias. Thank you. 
Because you want to salsa baila, salsa con sazón, pa seguir mi tradición, pa seguir mi tradición. I'm having fun at the club. I see you smiling and looking, they dancing, spinning and stepping to the salsa I'm producing. Conga send the guitar Vincent 
Boa noite, me chamo Kaique Vidal e é um prazer muito grande fazer parte desse evento hoje. Muito obrigado, Diamante, por me convidar para o 25º aniversário do Prêmio Latino Diamante. A próxima canção que eu vou tocar para vocês é dedicada a todos os participantes, vencedores e organizadores desse festival maravilhoso. Até mais! Uh! Tem tempo ruim, eu 
céu tá sempre aberto Corre pros meus braços Vem que eu te espero Pra repetir o nosso Ai, 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 ai Ai, ai, ai 